Hello and welcome to today's ELT News Roundup, your daily dose of real estate news and updates. On the backdrop of recent interest rate cuts, Reserve Bank of India's Governor Raghuram Rajan has asked the real estate developers to reduce prices in order to encourage more people to buy homes. The RBI earlier this month had lowered the interest rate by 25 basis points. Thus, a cumulative of 1.5% has been done since January 2015. A government team on April 25 carried out an inspection of Amapali Safaya. The residents of this society have been protesting on Twitter, which has led to a cricketer Mahindra Singh Dhoni stepping down as the realty firm's brand ambassador. The inspection marked the beginning of a drive in which Noida Authority officials will visit the housing society each day to examine amenities and check for compliance with sanctioned layout plans. The Uttar Pradesh government plans to organize a committee to probe into the allotment of 25,000 acres of land in Son Bhadra district to the JP Group to set up a cement factory. This land was taken back by the state government from the developer after the Uttar Pradesh Forest Department raised objection over the land allotment, claiming that the company was carrying out illegal mining in this region. The committee will submit its report within a month. Realty giants such as House of Hiranandani, Tata Housing Development Company and Godrej Properties are expanding their portfolio and footprint by acquiring residential projects that are stuck, usually for want of money or buyers or both. According to the reports, House of Hira Nandani, a Mumbai-based real estate venture, plans to expand its presence in Mumbai and enter real estate markets like the National Capital Region and Pune by buying stressed assets or forming alliance with developers whose projects are stuck. Thank you for watching today's roundup. For more updates, follow us on YouTube, Twitter and Instagram.